I'm really interested in understanding why teenagers act in fundamentally different ways than children and adults. So if we think of stereotypes of teens, we often think of them as being impulsive and reckless and making terrible decisions. But on the other hand, they're actually tremendous learners and they're very skilled in their daily lives. I'm really interested in understanding how adolescents respond to incentives like rewards and punishments. So we had adolescents and adults come into the lab and they did a task where they could win high amounts of money sometimes, and other times they could win low amounts of money. When the adults did this task, if high value incentives were at stake, they boosted their performance. But when we looked at the adolescents, they didn't adjust their behavior between those low value and high value conditions. And we also have participants complete MRI scans in adults, the striatum, a region that's really important for reward, was communicating more with the prefrontal cortex, which is a region that's really important and we recruited a lot when we pursue goals or perform difficult tasks. But in our adolescents, they were showing less connectivity between these regions, which suggests that because the brain is still developing, these connections are still building, which might um, explain why they're less likely to adjust their behavior in the moment. We thought this finding was really exciting because economists for years had tried to just throw money at teens for getting things like good grades or showing up on time or having good attendance. And even though there's monetary rewards at stake, the teens say that they like those rewards, they don't adjust their performance or their behavior in the classroom. And our research provides a really uh, interesting and exciting explanation for why this might be. Because adolescents are really good at learning or make decisions in different ways, we can actually grasp those strategies to try to inform uh, models of learning or artificial intelligence that might actually be better suited for learning in specific types of environments with a lot of uncertainty. I also work with policymakers and educators to try to um, expand the science and translate our findings into the real world. And this is really important and beneficial for society because we know that teens face a numerous amount of challenges. Um, they're at higher risk for mental health disorders. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, this has just been enhanced even more than ever before. And we also know that the teen brain is continuing to change and is really sensitive to inputs and new experiences. And so what I've tried to do in working with lawyers and judges and educators is really work with them to understand the lived experiences of adolescents, but then also try to think about what the science can tell us for how we treat adolescents and how we come up with policies that really help bring out the best in them.